Hi, Joseph here again from Joe Concept. Uh, how are we doing today? I hope everything is fine with us. All right, yesterday I posted a, a video about um, um, a jersey that I made, an animated video moving around the jersey which I made and the transition of the jersey. So I'm just going to be talking about how I created the recurs on those jersey in Cinema 4D. That is what this video is about. I stumbled upon a tool and a technique to creating a real-time recall. So that is what this is going to be about. So we're just going to get into Cinema 4D and see how to do that. All right, so we're going to start by creating a shape object. So let's just look for a very simple shape, sphere. And I'm going to get back to this. So what you want to do, if I hit NB, you have this low polygon shape. So the detail in the recall um, is in your subdivision, in your segment. So I'm going to up the segment. So let's say something like, um, let's try 60 so we have enough segment. So once you're done with this, I want you to notice this. I'm using standard. So once you're done with this, you have to hit this editable format. So you have to convert it to editable format. So if I hit this convert to editable format so that I have a polygonal object, then the next thing I'm going to drag, create a subdivision object and put this sphere into it. So it's furtherly subdivided. So you have more um, geometry to work with. <coughs> All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is to now go and bring in a smooth deformer. So once you bring in the smooth deformer, make it a child of the sphere or of your geometry rather. So if you do that, the next thing you're going to do is to come over to this object tab, change the type from the initial state, which used to be smooth, to relax. So as soon as you do that, everything grays out. So that means you can't do anything. You have to initialize first. So if I click on initialize, this comes up. So, because we want to be able to move this sphere about and create our own recall how we want, so we're going to pull down the stiffness. Now, another thing that will also bring the detail in this object is your iteration. Okay, so with iteration of with iteration of ten values, so you're going to have a fairly smooth um, recall. But once you up this, or once you up this value your recall is going to have more detail all right so let's just explain what, what i'm trying to say so if you look at this attrition of 10 so what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our mesh and sorry you have to select your sphere then you go to your mesh so i don't even need this na to go back to this so you can also be in your model mode so go to mesh move then you have your magnet so the magnet is what you're going to do. So I'm just going to drag down, pressing down my wheel and moving to the left, right to reduce and increase the brush size. Then for me to increase or reduce the flow or the strength, hold down the wheel, move up and down. So if you are moving down, notice it reduces the flow. If I want to increase the brush, move to the side. All right. So having this, if I drag on this, this is what we're going to get. You can notice that I'm having the ripple, but so you, you just need to paint where you want to have this ripple effect. So I'll paint here and you have that. So if you feel that, okay, you need, you need more detail here, you can always come back to this smooth and up this value. So if I make this, let's say 30, for instance, okay, then come back to this sphere. So notice we don't get to have any changes the, you know, what i need to do is after open this i need to initialize and make sure i do that then if i come back here and reduce this a bit notice what you have here so you drag this and drag that you have your recall having more detail and all that okay so as i was trying to see i want to see this look at the top so this effect works fine but i don't really like it because of this top and the reason why i don't like it because of this is because of we have a, 
an end pole here and we have so many polygons so that's why we are having this effect we're also going to have down here by the time we start moving this you can already see the effect but by the time we start moving you are going to see this so how can we solve this issue so i'm going to create another sphere so i'll do the same object so for me to show you what you can do so if i bring this here okay so if i hit nb so what I'm going to do in this case, this involves a bit of modeling. So I want to get rid of this end pole and also this poly, this rectangle, triangles rather. So what I will do is to first off, reduce this to somewhat 12, so that it can allow me change this guy. So once I reduce to 12, then I'll convert. Then go to my edge mode select this guy mn to dissolve so i'm going to do similar thing here so let me just do the top so once i have this resolved then i'm going to click kk to create my knife tool so i'm going to draw my knife tool here so i want it to be single line then draw another from here to here from here to here then from here to here so what i'm trying to do, what i tried doing now is to reduce the end pole and also to remove the polygon so I, I now have four sided um i now have four quads there so i'll do the same thing here select this mn to dissolve kk for knife cut two and so let me see the flow okay so this is the flow so i'm going to click here to here am i correct yeah okay so from here to here, from here to here, then from this to this. So once you're done with this, the next thing is you're going to now subdivide this guy. So if I go to polygon mode, control A to select all, right click, go to subdivide, go to this settings, I'm going to up this value. And also I'm going to click on this smooth. So if I up this value by three, and let's see what we have. Okay, so this is not bad. Start so we will scope this up ourselves. So then we can now put this into this subdivision surface. Then you know the rest. Just bring in your smooth deformer. Bring it as a child of the object, then relax, initialize, bring down this. So let's make this. We want to have a smooth object so once you select this new sphere and go back to the magnets then this works then you don't have that issue at the top anymore okay so you can create your recall however you want so if you feel that this is too much you can just reduce the brush and do smaller recall somewhere here so bring this down okay all right, so this is the second way. Now, the other thing I also tried doing was, okay, what if I want to keep this object parametric? How can I still keep it parametric and still add this detail? It's actually very possible. I'm just going to give you um, what you're going to do and stop the tutorial there. So I'm going to create another sphere, bring this up, and let's just go with this value. So let's make this 60. So we have this. Notice I have not converted this. So for me to do this, I'm going to bring in. So let's, if I put this guy into this subdivision surface and also bring in a smooth deformer. You notice even if I make this relax and initialize, bring this down, go to this sphere. Notice I can't paint over this sphere because this is not um, a polygonal object, it's still a primitive. So for me to get the power of from Cinema 4D for me to do this shape, then I have to bring in another deformer, and that is the correction deformer. So I'm going to place the correction deformer just before the smooth. So once I place this correction deformer just before the smooth, so I will not be selecting this sphere anymore, I'll be selecting the correction deformer. Then if I do that and do this, you notice you can you can add your recall to uh, 
to this object, even though it's still parametric. And so I can always go back and change from here to something else. And I, I noticed this also. As soon as it changes to something else, it changes the shape. So you have to go back to the smooth, reinitialize, and go back to this and start painting. It's just um, a bug in software. So it's trying to keep up to what you are doing because normally you are not supposed to make it parametric. So we are trying to cheat and show Cinema 4D that we want to still keep this object parametric while we have this. So if you want to render this guy, it is very important for you to uncheck render perfect. Very, very important. Right? Okay, so this is... Um, what I wanted to share to you guys. So if you feel this was helpful, you could just um, help and hit the like button, make comments if you have a, a better option so we can all learn. And by the way, I want to thank you guys for your support, for your comments in the previous tutorial. It really, it really means a lot to me. And I've also tried um, what the other guys said and I was trying it before I thought of this, so I said I should quickly do this before I finish up. So, but I really appreciate it. So, do have a wonderful day and God bless you. Bye.